Hi guys, welcome to But What Do I Know? A show where a girl with zero credentials gives you tons of opinions. I am said girl, my name is Kylie, and thanks for watching this video. I wanna start these videos uh, from here forward, um, giving you a recommendation. Um, knowing myself, it'll, it'll probably be a book or a movie or a, a TV show or music, something that has to do with pop culture. Um, Today, it, I don't know why it took me 10 years to watch this movie, but um, last night I watched Inglorious Bastards for the first time, um, and it is <laughs> such a good movie. It's beautiful to watch. The, um, the script is really well written. Uh, it, it's not as violent or as foul-mouthed as other Quentin Tarantino movies. I mean, there's still foul language and, and there's still violence, but I, I didn't think it was as bad as other ones, so if you're if you don't watch Quentin Tarantino movies because of that, um, give it a try. It's really funny. It'll make you think a little bit. Um, there are some really, really amazing performances. Christoph Waltz does an amazing job in this movie, uh, on an Oscar-winning performance for him. Um, so check it out. It's a great, it's a great movie. Um, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about whether or not we're able to separate art from an artist. I think about this a lot. Um, especially with, with, with people who are, whose indiscretions have been so publicized. Like, take for instance, Kevin Spacey. He's just a really easy one to pick. Um, he's done some really awful, egregious, immoral, evil things. But does that mean I'm not allowed to watch and enjoy The Usual Suspects? Or Roman Polanski, who, um, who, did an awful evil thing you know, 50 years ago. Does that mean I'm not allowed to watch and enjoy Rosemary's Baby? Even take music. I mean, one of my favorite artists of all time is Elvis. And he didn't make great decisions. He had a, a, um, a drug addiction and he was uh, unfaithful to his wife. Does that mean that the hour I spent listening to uh, Elvis Sirius earlier was, uh, was wrong or, or, or I'm wrong for that? Um, my, my favorite author of all time is Ernest Hemingway, and he was a, a notorious drunk um, and, uh, and a potential uh, a wife abuser. And Does that mean I'm not allowed to enjoy For Whom the Bell Tolls? And these are genuine questions. I'm not being facetious or, or sarcastic or, or, or cheeky or anything. Am I, am I allowed to enjoy art made by artists who have made awful, awful decisions? Um, I watched Inglorious Bastards last night. Brad Pitt is in that movie. Um, he probably was unfaithful to his wife. Am, am I, here's a question, here's a really good question. Am I able to watch a movie without um, condoning what the actors do in their real life? I'm not talking about the, the, the film itself. I'm not talking about the script. I'm not talking about the music. I'm not talking about the painting or the books. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the artists themselves. So not Brad Pitt as his character, but Brad Pitt. Am I allowed to watch his movies? Or does that mean that I am in some way um, giving my stamp of approval for things that, that he's done? And that's probably not a great example, but let's just take Kevin Spacey. Is my watching American Beauty giving him a, a, a pass you know are, am I it, it's kind of like I, I've never understood people who can stay friends with jerks just like dudes that are just mean to people you know am I allowed to to continue to be friends with people like that um, or does that make me a jerk that's probably not a great example but but is my listening to the Beatles, or Elvis, or pick an artist, really any artist, my enjoying their music, does that make me some somewhat responsible in, in their indiscretions? Does that make me, am I condoning their choices? You know, on the flip side, we, we have artists like Chris Pratt, who can't even walk outside with with an American flag on a shirt without getting flack. So how, how, how do we distinguish between the people we're going to approve and the people we're not going to approve? Um, 
Is, is there a distinction between the two? Or can I just watch a movie and enjoy the movie? You know, well, my, one of my favorite actresses of all time is Katherine Hepburn. And she had a, a notorious affair with Spencer Tracy. Well, she still makes really good movies. Same with Lauren Bacall and, and Humphrey Bogart. Casablanca is one of my favorite movies of all time. Am I, am I somehow saying, I see what you did, I understand, but this movie is so good. Is that okay? Is that, is that um, permitted? I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. I, I'm, not, I'm, not quite, I'm not quite sure. Um, I, I, I think it, it all comes down to, I'm just a person watching a movie. I'm just watching Katherine Hepburn sail on a boat in Africa. That's, just, that's it. I'm, I'm watching uh, um, uh, Humphrey Bogart try to get out of Casablanca before the Nazis take over. That's it. I don't think it has, I don't think it goes any further than that. Let me know what you guys think. Um, because I, I am very curious. I, I, I am very curious what you might think. Here's my challenge for the week. My challenge is to, um, along the pop culture lines of this video, watch a movie that you don't think you would enjoy. Um, I, I am usually, I'm, I'm a movie snob, so there are some movies that I'm like, I would, I'll never watch it. But I'm gonna watch a movie or two this week um, that I probably would never watch ever, 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 unless I was challenging myself. Find a movie that you are like, I would never watch that. That's not my taste. I don't like the story. I don't like the actors in it. Oh my gosh, Alec Baldwin's in it. He's such a staunch liberal. I would never watch it. I don't really like Alec Baldwin, not because he's a liberal, but I just don't think he's a great actor. But find a movie or, or maybe listen to a band that you're like, I don't know if I would like that. Or um, maybe a type of music, a genre of music that you don't think you would like. And just try it. If you don't like it, you never have to listen to it or watch it again. But just try it. Try to um, try to expand your horizons and 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 expand your palette just a little bit. Those are my ideas for today. Again, as always, what do I know? Let me know what you think about about separating art um, from the artist, and or the artist from the art. I guess is probably how I should phrase that. Um, let me know what you think about it, and uh, let's keep the conversation going. Bye, guys.